Good day mga Kapiters and welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Mega and Kapiter Arc and today we are going to deal with this extra math challenge. It says in the geometric sequence 6, 12, 24, 48 and so on which term is 768. Now mga Kapiters, sa pagdeal ng geometric, geometric sequence we'll have this formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. Itong A sub n, that is the value of the nth term. Si A sub 1, yan yung first term. Yung r is yung common ratio at yung n yung term. Now, i-identify muna natin Kung dito sa problem natin, sino si A sub N, si A sub 1, si R, at saka si... Uh, so, yung hanapin pala natin is si N. Identify natin, sino ba si A sub N? Si A sub N, sa dinideal natin na problem, is yung 768. Kasi siya yung uh, value ng nth term. Yung question, which term is 768? Yung A sub 1, yan yung first term. Yung first term natin is si 6. Yung unang element dito sa sequence. How about R? Yung R naman, yan yung tinatawag na common ratio. How to, uh, how to know or identify the common ratio? We'll just uh, divide any of these elements to its previous element. Ha? Para malaman natin yung common ratio niya. For example, we'll have the 12. We'll divide it by 6. Therefore, yung ratio niya is 2. To check, uh, the common ratio is 2. To check if yan ba yung common ratio talaga is, we'll have 2, yes. Multiply this 2 by uh, 6 uh, or multiply 6 by 2, then we'll have 12, diba? Then multiply, multiply 12 by 2, then we'll reach 24. And then multiply 24 by 48, uh, by 2, then we'll reach 48, and so on. That's why yung common ratio natin dito is 2. And yung n is yung hinahanap natin. Anong term ba si 768 sa geometric sequence na to? Okay? So yung gagawin na lang natin ngayon is hahanapin yung n. Let's substitute na. Yung A sub N natin is 768. So, we'll write 768 is equal to A sub 1 is 6. And the common ratio is 2. Raised to N minus 1. Okay? Next thing to do, let's simplify this one. Uh, we'll divide both sides by 6 kasi dinideal natin is, o yung hinahanap natin sa N. Tapos, pwede natin itong uh, ma-divide 6 both sides. Para masimplify natin. 768 divided by 6 will have 128. Dito na side, ang matitira na lang is 2 raised to n minus 1. And kasi nga yung n yung hinahanap natin, we will set the base of 128 to 2. Ano ba yung, para, para mapariha yung base nila. Ano ba yung i-raise natin sa sa 2 to reach 128. 2 raised to 5 is 32 yan. 2 raised to 6 will have 64. So, yung 2 raised to 7, yan yung 128. Equate natin dito sa 2 raised to n minus 1. And since pareho na ng basis, then i-equate na natin ngayon yung exponent kasi yung n yung hinahanap. So, we'll have 7 is equal to n minus 1. And by AP, we will know that the value of n is 8. O, di ba? Nakuha natin na yung value ng n is 8. How about, Habiter Arc, paano natin malalaman na tama yung, yung value ng n? Well, I-check natin. Madali lang yan. Balik tayo dito sa formula. Tingnan natin kung mag-equate -e ba or magsasatisfy ba itong equation natin kung gagamitan natin ng 8 as n. So, 
we'll have 768 as the a sub n. And this is equal to a sub 1, we'll have 6. Common ratio is 2. And raised to what is the value of n? 8. So we'll have 8 minus 1, kasi n minus 1. Now, we'll have 768 is equal to 6 times 2 raised to 8 minus 1. We'll have 7, okay? Now, 768 is equal to 6 times 2 raised to 7 is 128. Ngayon, 768 is equal to 6 times 128. That is equal to 768. And... 768 is equal to 768, which is tama. Yan yung nagpapahiwatig na tama yung nasolve natin na value na n na si 8. Okay? So, sana may natutunan kayo sa video natin ngayon. At kung gusto nyo ma-shoutout para sa uh, future videos namin, mag-comment kayo sa comment section. And, mga kahabiters, on behalf sa mga nagdi-discuss dito sa ating YouTube channel. It's me, Hobbiter Ark, na nagsasabing kung nahihirapan kayo sa math, abay kami rin. God bless mga Hobbiters. Good night!